Hey guys, this is Lauren the Cheesy Bard, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little game called One Bit Heart. Um, basically, this is, from what I understand, a friendship making game. Uh, and I mean, I play plenty of dating sims, so I like those sort of things. Um, I actually recorded another file, uh, and the audio didn't record, so I'm going to have to just start over again. But it's fine. At least I know what I'm doing now. Um, only chapters 1 and 2 have been released so far. But when the other ones get released, I'll be sure to play those also for you guys. This here is our main character. He's kind of cute. His name is Nanashi. Huh? That late already? Guess I overslept. Not like it matters to a shut-in like myself. He also is a, uh, a boy after my own heart. Hmm, what should I do today? I beat all those games in my backlog. Maybe I'll go see what Mikado's doing? Yeah, here are the controls. I already know. Uh, there. It wouldn't let me move for a second. Morning, big brother. Oh, Nissan. I get confused because I'm not sure if this is actually his cousin or his brother. I get mixed signals. Ah, morning, Nanashi. Well, except for the part where it's noon. <laughs> it sure is. And I've got to be. I've got to get going soon. I believe there's still lunch in the fridge, but you'll have to get your own dinner. Got it. I'll order a pizza or something. Your body's going to get weak and floppy if you eat nothing but pizza, you know. Like you, big bro. Uh, yeah, I used to eat nothing but pizza too. An unbalanced diet, to be sure. Oh, can you make a note for me? I've already written everywhere I could see. Sure thing. You're already right up to the neck, though. Where am I supposed to write? Mm. Thigh, maybe? Somewhere we're checking it in public wouldn't get me strange looks. Okay, let's save my cheek. Oh, too bad. Well, tell me what to write. Sure, it's not too long. It is very long. Just a thought, but I don't see why you can't use the memo function on your bit phone. It's always said you remember things better if you write them down. Right, thanks. Well then, I'm off. Okay, bye. Mm, I'll wait a little for lunch. What now, I wonder? Okay, back to bed. Okay, bedtime. Uh... Oh, it seems like we have a little visitor here in our in our bed. I assume it's the first time a girl's ever been in his bed. If you get what I'm saying, I shouldn't joke like that. Who the? Mm hmm. Who are you? That's what I'm saying. This is my futon. Uh. Oh, forgive me. I'll get off of it. Uh, where did you come in? There weren't any guests, and this is the seventh floor of an apartment. I don't know. Uh, even you don't know? What's your name? My name. Whoa, my computer closed. My name is Misane. Right, I'm Misane. Everything else I don't remember. Misane, eh? Good name. And I guess sleeping in my futon is just how it goes if you don't remember anything else. That's just how it is in all the animes. But how, about how much can't you remember? Anything on your mind? Uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh, you mean my bit phone? I made this myself. What is a bit phone? Bit phones are devices used all around the world. People these days are obligated to always wear them. It connects with brain waves and processes them, I think? It used to have a lot of problems, but with technology now, it's pretty safe. Most bit phones are kind of like this. It connects to their brain waves. Does each person have an idea of some sort? Right. When you're born, an idea is created for you, and it goes along with others with the citizen census. With the, with the citizen census. You can pick usernames on the internet and stuff, but IDs are completely unique, and you only get one. 
Well, remember anything? No, not yet. But if you only have one ID, wouldn't it be dangerous if someone else took it? Well, there's something called a master program, and there's a control room for it at the very top of 307 Tower nearby here. The master program's 99.9% .9 safe, they say. Basically perfect. Although it used to be managed manually. People who were nervous about the idea of leaving control to a program... People were nervous about have the idea of leaving control to a program, but it's been about four months now and nobody thinks anything of it. There used to be lo uh, cases of lost IDs, but now not a one, so it's probably fine, right? I see. So then, who manages this program? Uh, that'd be my, bro my cousin, Big Bro Mikado. He made the current master program all by himself. Amazing, huh? Mikado. I've never heard that name. Well, you seem like you lost your memory, so I don't know what else you were expecting. Let's go outside. I might learn more if I go around town. Huh? Outside? Is there a problem? I mean, I've been a recluse for four months now. Going outside's a... Uh, not my forte. Kind of a bother. I've got kind of a kind of shut-in pride to uphold. Um, you're a shut-in? Oh, I guess I didn't introduce myself. I'm Yoshinanase. Everyone calls me trash, pest, baggot, spineless dust, plankton, moron, and all sorts of other things. So call me whatever name you like. This poor guy. Oh, and my goal for the future is world peace. He would win Miss Universe straight away. Something the matter? Uh, well, do you have a more proper nickname? Eh, those are no good. Alright, Nanashi then. That's what Mikado calls me. Nanashi, I see. Nanashi. Okay, so I can't go outside and you have no memories, so what should we do? Play video games? What? I'm going outside with you, Nanashi. What? Hmm, well, if you want to go outside with me, then I'll go with you. What about your shut-in bride? Oh, don't worry about me. If you say leave, I'll leave. And if you say buy yakisoba bread, I'll do that. If it makes you happy, I'll be happy too. You don't care about yourself? Ah, uh, well, I don't want to get too sick or anything, and I'd like to have a peaceful old age, but... For the most part, if it's useful to others and it makes them happy, I'll do literally anything. So if someone told you to die, would you die? Yeah. If my life could save someone else's and it made them happy, I'd give it to them for sure. Oh boy. We're probably gonna die for somebody at the end of this, huh? But I do only have one life, so of course I'd be very careful about such a decision. They wouldn't mention it otherwise, right? I see, I think I understand you now, Nanashi. Also, you should call me Misane-chan. Huh? But we met like five minutes ago, and I can't just call a girl my age Chan. That makes you sound like my girl for... Please call me Miss Anichan. She is forward. She wants that booty. Wow, you sure are proactive. Got it, Miss Anichan. I can't promise I'll remember all the time, though. Now, let's go out and around town. We'll decide what to do as we wander. Uh. Miss Anichan? Are you okay? That was such a natural tumble. My heart kind of, it kind of brought a tear to my eye. Sorry, I have a habit of tripping over nothing. Okay, that's great. You've got cool qualities, but also clumsy ones on top of them. I think that's amazing. Also, I'd be kind of happy if you could let go of my pants. It's looking a bit unladylike. Oh, sorry. Well, let's go. Okay. Boo! Huh? Mikado? Weren't you going to work? Oh, Nanashi. Just forgot something. I'll be heading back very... Nanashi, when did you meet such a cute girl? Come on now, you should have told me. Uh, Mikado, is it? Ah, yes, I'm Mikado. Mikado. This is Misane-chan. She was just sleeping in my futon. Says she has no memories. You know anything, Mikado? Mm, I see. That's unfortunate. I'm good at guiding towards a fixed result, but this sort of thing is beyond my expertise. I've seen amnesiacs suddenly regain their memories on TV. Maybe you just n need to live life as normal? But I don't know anything, not even where I live. Then you should stay here until you remember, I think. If you have parents, they should come looking. You can't act without any solid information. 
Is that okay? I'm not at home much. You could use this room if you like. Oh, I'd better hurry before the big shots get mad. Nah, she, you're alone with her, so don't attack her or anything. That's just a joke, right? Of course not, dummy. Misane, you take care too. See ya. Huh? What is it, Misane? I just thought you two seemed similar. Huh? You can't associate an unremarkable piece of garbage who abandons his student responsibilities and blows the whole day watching TV and playing video games at home with a genius like Mikado. Can we maybe do something about you willingly calling yourself garbage, Janashi? Should we? That's what everyone says I am. People in my school told me not to come anymore, which is why I became a shut-in. So you became a shut-in because of things you didn't like? Um, no, I love my classmates, and I love school, and I had friends, but now that you mention it, everyone took me off their list. You don't have any friends? I used to, but not anymore. Look, it's just Mikado on my friends list now. I decided an objective. Let's push my memories on hold for... Let's put my memories on hold and make some friends for you, Nanashi. Huh? Why? I don't really need friends. Please make some friends. If you say so, Misane-chan. But how do you make friends? I think I've gotten a little worse at socializing since I stopped going to school. Well, let's first look for someone your age. It should be less difficult to talk if you're similar ages. Oh, got it. You should be my friend too, Misane. Uh, are, okay, uh, how? Uh, you just think, friend list, and do this with your finger, and a window should come up. Then you could send your data. Huh? One error? Non-existent ID? That's weird. This doesn't happen often. If it's throwing an error, then oh well. Let's look for friends. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, we should use Mutter for that. I can register you. Anybody can use it. What is Mutter? It's an app I made. You can tweet words and save them. If other people register, they can talk on your feed too. And you can make groups of people and talk with each other. I made it to talk to my brother and parents more easily, but it's kind of spread and lots of people are using it. For now, I'll register you and make a group. You have a real talent. This looks simple to use. You think? It's pretty easy for me to make apps. I just look at the instructions, convert them into numbers, and follow them like one, two, three. Convert to numbers. Mm. I've been able to see the world in numbers since I was born. It's kind of like the stats window in a game. Like Misane, you're 77, 54, 78. I wonder what that means. Is it something like synesthesia? Eh, I can't talk. And what exactly are those numbers describing about me? Your measurements! My leg! Please forget that. Now, let's go. It might be good to greet people around town learning their faces and names. Okay, let's go. Time to make friends! Okay, let's see if I could, uh... This is place, this is place. I should Toby Lab. Oh boy, this looks like a fun character. Hello! I definitely want to be friends with you. Uh, what? Hello? Trespassing into the Ashitobi lab. What a reckless act. <laughs> Very well, as you wish, I shall make you my guinea pig. Wow, we are so not on the same page. Who are you, mister? Me? Me? Oh yes, you may call me this. <laughs> this guy's really good at his voice acting. Probably my favorite voice actor in this game. Okay, would-be mad scientist Mr. Kiri. I'm Nanashi. Huh, what do I care of your name? Now drink this potion for me, would you? That's a very sickening color there. I wonder what'll happen if I drink this. Muscle augmentation. Yes, the muscles, the muscular form, the beauty. Beautiful! This is, uh, kind of scary. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be friends with you. Nice to meet you, though. Is there any place around here I couldn't go into? Just my apartment building, I guess. Bitwave. Hello. One sec. 
Yeah, yeah, welcome. Looking for anything? I'm looking for friends. Uh. Huh? My name's Anashi. What's yours, miss? Huh? What? I'm Sakuma. So? You window shopping? Not really. In fact, I believe I found exactly the pretty young girl I was looking for. Oh, what a smooth operator. What? <laughs> Could you say that again? Er, uh, you're a pretty girl. I might faint if you had an hourglass figure, too. But you're extremely flat-chested, so I'm not going to faint. Ah, uh, can't hear a thing. Did a cow moo or something? Pretty young lady. Ah, oh, well, thank you. She isn't here when she doesn't want to, I see. But if you're not going to buy anything, then beat it, okay? I don't have all the time in the world here. Oh, sorry, I'll leave for now. Right, yeah, hope to see you again and all that. Okay, bye. Wait. Oh, here we go. He looks cute. Ah! Mm, wow. Sorry, I was spacing out. What do you need? I'm looking for friends. Friends. Hmm, was there a brand by that name? Oh, I should introduce myself. Hello, I'm Nanashi. <laughs> I guess it figures there aren't any friends here. I don't want to be friends with a loser like you. He's cute, though. Mm. Sorry about that. Is it a foreign brand? I'll see if I can check on my next break. Ah, uh, Neo, can I have a sec? Neo, me too. I've got an issue here. Oh, yes, hold on a second. Wow, you're a real ladies' man. Ladies' man? Are those chips? Sorry, but I'll need to talk to some other guests, okay? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm good here. Yes, good. Call me if you have any questions. Neo! I'm coming. I think I'll have to learn from this guy. Yes, you will. Hello. Hello, do you have a question? <clears throat> I want to know your name, miss. My name? Hmm. Is my name the only query which you, you wish to make of me? <clears throat> my voice is going out a little bit. <clears throat> How do I make friends? I am terribly sorry, but my duty is to help people find their way around 307 Tower. Such life instruction is outside of my domain. My official reply to your query is that it is commonly said to be rather difficult to obtain the things which you desire. But personally, I say, do not touch me with a 10-foot pole. Aw, oh, I knew I should have kept that 11-foot pole. Mm, your utter lack of understanding is worse than a piece of gum sped onto the side of the road. Yeah. If you have no other queries, I will return to my usual duties. Excuse me. Being so insulted politely is kind of neat. Mister, you're catch a cold sleeping here. You okay? Are you sick, mister? Ah, I think I've seen you somewhere. Oh, that's right, that novelist. Right of a million sellers, Gate of Rakshasa and Hirohime, uh, the great Onai Akutamori. So, a pen name. He looks a little bit worse for the wear. That's a pen name. My real one is Akita. Akita Kamome. Call me that if anything. Oh yeah, your nameplate says that too. But why are you here? If I'm going to die, I want to jump from this tower. It's the world's tallest. It has significance. You're going to die, Mr. Akita? No, I can't die yet. I want to die with someone. That's the end I desire. But there are so many fans of your work. I know lots of people look forward to your new books. They don't want me. They want it's the, my works they want. Huh? Is that particularly bad? I don't need money. I don't need compassion. All I want is love. Uh, I just got a good scene in my mind. I'll focus for a bit to work this out. Excuse me. <laughs> Down on the ground again, but he seems fine. Uh, up here? I've already been up here before, and you can't really do anything there yet. It'll just tell you to leave. Let me save. Okay. And away we go. 
Sunset Hill is probably my favorite area so far of this game. Oh, it's called the Meow Cheese Shop. I get it. Okay. Hello. Oh, what a healthy young boy. Have we met before? Mm. Nope, it's my first time going outside here at all. I'm Nanashi. I'm just little Yasune. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come on by whenever you're bored. I'm always bored, you see, so I'll be glad to have someone to talk to. Okay, got it, Miss Yasune. All I sell here is candy, but no tax on it. Come by if you save up some money, child. Oh, ho. Oh, I was going to say something about friends, wasn't I? Oh, well. Um? I think I'll actually stop here for now. And, uh, pick this up later. Thank you guys for joining me, and hopefully we'll make some friends next time. See you later!